this is Rishabh Kapoor from websofttutorials.com. In this video guys, I will show you that how can you create a menu in WordPress. Right now guys, in the WordPress dashboard, you are not able to see any menu option inside appearance tab. So for that, we need to create a menu in WordPress theme. Firstly guys, we will create a static menu, then we will convert it to dynamic menu, which you can, which you will be able to change it or customize it from the WordPress dashboard. So I'll give it create a div tag of menu and I will enter add some list items here which we will change it uh, later means we will make it dynamic I will add just two list items home and alright services just two list, list items I'll go to browser and I will refresh it you can see these two list items so I'll set it styling so I'll go to style.css menu tag is inside header tag so I'll write it in, in this way so I'll write float left and I'll give it width to 100 percent now I'll go to browser and refresh it now you can see so and I will give it margin top give margin top of 35 pixels and I will reload it now I will set another list means list item styling so right UL firstly I enter I'll add some space here I'll write list style none you can see so in the same way we'll set the styling of li tag ul space li I'll float left now it will go to the you can see and I will firstly I'll give it a border of one pixel solid one pixel solid now I will give it height of uh, 25 pixels mm, I think I should give height of uh, 35 pixels I think it's fine so I'll give it line height of 35 pixels as well so it will come to the center vertically center you can see it is vertically center now now I will set I will remove the border from here and I'll set the styling of anchor tag as well so obviously I remove the text decoration means that underline and I will set its color to and I will set its over color as well I'll set it to blue now you can see when you will hover it now I will add some padding here 0 pixels for the top button and 15 pixels for the left, right and left so you can see now we have created a static menu but we need to make it dynamic because if we reload it you will still you're you will still not able to see any option of menus here so for, for that we need to create a menu here to cre in order to create a menu firstly you need to go to functions.php file and you need to write a function and for that you need to before that you need to use PHP tags because we will write PHP function here so you need to write function and then function name I'll give it name of websoft tutorials underscore menu you can give any name then function brackets and then curly brackets so in between these two curly brackets you will write code here this register underscore nav underscore menu means this function is used to register nav menu 
and it will take two arguments firstly you will write primary I will write primary I'll tell you that uh, you can write something else but I will uh, tell you the use of this primary later in this tutorial and second you will write like if I want to make a top navigation so I'll write top navigation now after that we need to add use something here we will use add action hook here so it will again take two parameters first one will be init means it will initialize this function it will initialize this function a second parameter will be this function means if we want to initialize this function we will use init websoft tutorials menu now we will go to dashboard we will reload it now you will see a menus option here but our menus is still not dynamic because we have written static code here so firstly we will go to menus I have already created a menu because uh, before this tutorial I was testing it so my screen will be different uh, right now I can see this menu one and save menu but on your side it will be a blank and create menu so you need to write the name of the menu whatever you want to give to it and you need to create click on create menu so you can see this now now you can see this top navigation which we have created in uh, functions uh, functions dot php if I'll write something like uh, else like top uh, right now it's top navigation so if I will write top navigation menu and I if I reload it you will see top navigation menu whatever means you, you have written in the uh, functions dot php file when you were registering the menu and now I'll tell you what is the use of this primary for that we will go to header.php file means where the menu code is written we will write some PHP code to make it dynamic and in order to make it dynamic we will write wp underscore nav underscore menu now guys I will tell you what is the use of this wp nav menu you can see displays a navigation menu created in appearance menus means whatever menu you will you have created in this uh, you have created here inside the menus tab it will this function will return that menu so I will write array because it can take multiple arguments like you can see array theme location menu container container class container ID it depends upon your choice which argument you wanna use so, array and after that we will I will write theme underscore location and then I will write associative array equal to and greater than sign and after that we will write same thing here primary now it will call this menu here means the menu which we have created from function and the menu which we have uh, set it from here this will call this menu here now we will save it refresh it you will see home sample page whatever you, you, you have set it from here suppose I will click on at automatically add new top level pages to this menu means if whenever I will create a new page it will add that page to menu so we will create a new page here add new I'll write services and I click on publish now I'll go to the browser and I will refresh it you will see it will automatically add an item here so again I will go to menus I can easily customize it from here just drag and drop save menu refresh
you can see home services sample page but guys if you want to create a drop down menu you need to means whenever you are creating a menu you need to code two or three levels drop down in this tutorial i haven't created i have created a single level menu but if you are creating a theme wordpress theme you need to create two or three level drop down menu means you need to code your css in a way that it will be a drop down menu because if i'll drag it here means if i'll try to make it a drop down menu it will not work perfectly reload it you can see it is here but it should work properly means if you will code uh, your css in a way means it will become a drop down menu means whenever you're creating a your wordpress theme always make a drop down menu two or three levels drop down menu so guys in this way you can create a menu in wordpress guys you can also create multiple menus if you want to create suppose some themes have more than one menu like head menu and footer menu if you want to create a new menu you need to create same kind of function with different name so i'll give it a name of websoft tutorials footer menu and i will need to write the name same name as well here and i will change the label here this is for label only footer and instead of primary i will write footer now i will go to my menus i will refresh it so now guys you can see the footer navigation option here in this way you can create a footer menu but it is not completed yet you need to use same kind of code in the footer means after styling your footer you need to use the same code and instead of writing the primary here you will write footer here which you have written here so after uh, using this code the footer menu will be visible there so guys in the next video we will work with the posts means we will display the content of our pages and post to the to our pages so guys if you still have any question about this tutorial you can go to my discussion forum or you can leave a comment below so thanks for watching this video guys don't forget to subscribe my channel to get recent updates about my videos let's see in the next tutorial